News, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe successfully maintains a majority at Japan's lower house. He, his and his coalition party won in Sunday's snap general election, but with record low voter turnout, analysts say Abe cannot be complacent. Take a look. Japan's ruling coalition won a landslide victory in parliamentary elections seen as a referendum on Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's economic policy. Abe's Liberal Democratic Party, together with its junior partner Komeito, retained a two-thirds majority of 475 seats in the lower house of parliament, giving them the power to pass legislation without recourse to the upper house. I'm relieved we've managed to continue our ruling coalition with the Komeito party. But at the same time, this is also a great responsibility. It was a crushing defeat for the main opposition Democratic Party of Japan, falling well short of the 100 seats it had unofficially targeted. Many observers say the lack of a clear political alternative to the ruling party left many voters feeling underwhelmed and questioning the need of an election in the first place. And as if reflecting the people's indifference, voter turnout was 52 percent, the lowest figure since World War II, and well short of the previous low of 59 percent set in 2012. Abe is now widely expected to push ahead with expanding the role of the military and restarting Japan's nuclear power plants. The win also gives the prime minister a fresh four-year mandate to institute his economic policy known as Abenomics, which aims at reviving Japan's economy through monetary easing and strong public spending. Son Jong-in, Arirang News.